kind of interested in how the week off was, the extra time in between games. Was it refreshing? Was it weird? Was it not welcome? I mean, the team had been playing pretty well. So just kind of the overall thoughts on having an open week. I would say it was a little bit of both. Um, it was nice to give my body a break and, you know, I've been taking a lot of hits, but at the same time, I was just antsy to play football. Like on Saturday, it felt weird not playing a game, but it, I'm sure it's going to help us in the long run. I'll be feeling as fresh as I've been feeling all season for this next game. So, Because of not having Travis, you know, in that kind of that 1B role right there with you as running back, do you feel it a little bit, and maybe more than you did last year, because of the number of carries and the number of hits? Do you feel it a little bit more this year than last year? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I feel a little more sore, but um, at the same time, I trained for to be able to take all the reps like I'm doing right now, and um, it's always nice to have Travis by my side. But I feel like I've been able to take care of the role pretty good. So talk about. I don't know, maybe the last month. You, you've had a good season, but it feels like the last three, four games, you've kind of taken it to another level. Can you put your finger on why that maybe has happened? Um, I, I'd have to give some credit to my O-line. Uh, I feel like they're really meshing well right now and all on the same page. And um, uh, for myself, I feel like I'm running pretty confident and been able to let the holes develop and hit them when I need to and um, break tackles and get the yards after contact. Um, nothing really different, just playing my same game and I've been having even better holes than I've had beforehand. So. Yeah, something about being patient, it felt like early in the year, I mean, and coaches even mentioned, I mean, you're, you're hitting a hole and it just seems now we've seen you're waiting and waiting and then you pick your spot and go. How hard is that to do that as a running back? I mean, it's hard. I mean, because uh, you get the ball and you'll see it whole, and sometimes it's like fool's gold. Fool's gold. Um, but you got to learn to press, really press your blocks to dictate what the linebackers are doing, and then hit the hole after that. So, uh, I mean, uh, throughout the season, you tend to, you know, learn to be more patient because then that's how the big runs uh, hit. So, when you're approaching a hundred and then 200 yards in a game. Is there a counter in your head at all that you kind of got an idea where you're at? Or is it truly you just don't know and at the end of the game, whatever the stats show, that's what it shows? Um, I wouldn't say I have a counter in my head, but uh, as you guys know, my brother Trevor's been hurt, so he gives me updates on the sideline. So I have, I have an idea for sure. What about Nebraska Kearney um, and maybe what you've seen out of them so far? Um, I mean, I think they're a solid defense. Uh, they're pretty similar to how our defense uh, is ran. Um, uh, at the end of the day, if we play our own game, we should take care of business, but definitely have to respect our opponents. Obviously, with the, the region rankings and, and Fort Hayes State is in them now, is that something you guys talk about, or do you just try to go about your own, <coughs> own business and not worry about it, let it, the things <laughs> basically turn out as it turns out? I mean, it's, it's definitely talked about, but at the end of the day, we just have to control what we can control. Um, you know, it'd be really nice to be able to, we all obviously want to make playoffs and feel like we deserve to be in there, but we have to take care of business on Saturday and make sure we get that win to continue to push the card, so. And how do you avoid, with the bye week, especially being this late in the year, and it's, you know, something four days never had to really deal with, is having a weekend off. Keep that momentum that you built and that intensity that you played with here the last really month of the year. Um, I, I feel like uh, we haven't had a problem with that. It's, we're, especially for the seniors, this is our last week guaranteed. So I feel like yesterday's practice, the energy was up, and we all know what we're fighting for. And um, I think we're going to pick up right where we left off. Coach said you guys ran a couple dozen plays on a couple of days last week, and then the young guys got after it pretty good. Did you get to watch any of the younger guys scrimmage and go after a little bit? And maybe even think back to when you were one of those younger guys practicing on the off day like that? Yeah, uh, we, we, I didn't get to watch the scrimmage because we ended up doing a pool workout. But I did, we did get to see some uh, reps of theirs. And it was pretty fun to watch them get after it. There's definitely a couple of fights, uh, a couple of fights that were fought. But um, yeah, it was a fun time to watch. And Do you see maybe the, some of the guys who you don't have to mention anybody, but some of the guys who you go, that guy's going to be really impacting Fort Hay State next year in the next three years. Oh, yeah. There's there's definitely some dudes that are in our program, and it seems like we have a pretty promising future ahead of us. So.